This video we're going to look at scientific notation. Here's page one and page two and here we're just going to change numbers into scientific notation form and by page three we'll take numbers that are already in scientific notation uh, form and write them in decimal form. So on page one just start by making this list 10 squared, 10 to the power of 2, 10 to the power of 1, 10 to the power of 0 and so on. And calculate each one of these, write it down. So don't use a calculator, let's understand this. So we should know that 10 cubed, for example, is 10 times 10 times 10. And that gives us 1000. 10 squared is... So press pause in the video and see how far you can get. Get as far as 10 to the power of 0 at least. 10 squared is 10 times 10, 100, right? 10 to the power of 1 then is just 10, isn't it? So, you know, these positive powers, this is how they work. So obviously if you had 10 to the power of 7, write down what that would be. 10 to the power of 7, write it all out. It would be 10 times itself, 7 times, right? That's 4, that's 5, that's 6. That's seven times, ten times itself, seven times, which, if we look at the pattern also, um, you know, ten squared, we had two zeros past the one. Ten cubed, we had three zeros past the one. Ten to the power of seven, you're actually going to have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven zeros past the one. And every three zeros are separated with a comma, like that. In fact, we should even have a comma past the 1,000. So, you know, beware of that in, in the book. That's what that means. It's just, just so we can read the number. Because this comma is a 1,000. This is a million. So this actually says 10 million. That's why they have commas in numbers, so we can read things well. Okay. So, in any case, 10 to the power of 1 is 10. 10 to the power of 0. Can you remember what that would be? And again, we look at the pattern. This pattern goes 3, 2, 1, 0. And we go a thousand, a hundred, ten. What's the? How do I go from here to here, then here to here, and and keep going? Well, obviously, see if you divide this by ten, then two tens cross cancel, and, and these tens cross cancel, and I'm just left with two tens. If I divide this by ten, these tens cross cancel, and I'm left with this ten, right? So if I divide by ten, then I go from this number to this number. If I divide this one by ten, I go from here to here. So, what is 10 divided by 10? Write it down. 10 to the power of 0 is 10 over 10, which is definitely 1. We all agree with that. So, once again, power of 0 gives 1, and we should know that by now. 10 to the power of negative 1 is this number divided by 10, or 1 over 10, which of course is, well, 1 over 10 is just 1 over 10, 100. And then if I then divide that by 10, a tenth divided by 10 actually is 1 over 100, which is 1 over 10 squared, of course, 100th. And if you plug that in the calculator, see what you get. Just plug in 1 divided by 100. So on a calculator, if we just type in 1 uh, divided by 100, you can do that, right? 1 divided by 100, then press Enter, of course. Press Enter that gives you 0 0.01 okay or I guess I like to write 0 0.01 same thing okay and obviously 1 tenth if we do 1 divided by 10 that's of course 0 0.1 so 1 tenth of course is 0 0.1 10 to the power of negative 3 then continues the pattern 10 to negative 2 is 1 over 10 squared this is actually 1 over 10 cubed or 1 over 1000 and calculate that as a decimal 1 over 1000 1 divided by 1,000, 0 0.001, and so on, right? So calculate 10 to the negative 4 for fun, and then calculate 10 to the negative um, 8, let's say. Okay. 10 to negative 4 is 1 over 10 to the power of 4 which of course is 1 over 10,000, which gives us 0 0.0001, okay? And 10 to the negative 8 is 1 over 10 to the power of 8, which is 1 over 100 million, 
10 to the 8 has it has one and then eight zeros okay 100 million and that is of course 0 point one two three four five six seven zeros and then the one okay so I guess if you're to look for a pattern in these numbers if um, we have 10 to the negative 2 we have two digits past the decimal point the 0 and the 1 so that's two digits here and there's a 2 up there see that 10 to the negative 3 I have 1 2 3 digits past the decimal point and that's a negative 3 10 to the negative 4 I have 1 2 3 4 digits past the decimal point and that's a 4 up here and 10 to the negative 8 I have 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 digits past the decimal point and that's a negative 8 so Point is, 10 to the power of negative something gives us decimals, small numbers. 10 to the power of positive something gives us bigger and bigger numbers, right? So that's the most important thing to understand. So we're going to use this table as we understand scientific notation. Now, 6,000 written in scientific notation. Here's one way of doing it. 6,000, we all agree, is 6 multiplied by 1,000, okay? Now in this section we're going to use multiplication we're going to use the cross or the x for multiplication. It's the only time we use the this x symbol for multiplication in algebra. Simply because why do you think? Because it gets confused with x and y and z and so on. Well it gets confused with the variable x in, in the other section. So just when we do scientific notation, we use the x for multiplication. That's the only time, right? So 6 multiplied by 10,000 is the same as 6 multiplied by... Now, 10,000 in scientific note, or in, as a power of 10 is what? 10 to the power of what gives, gives 1,000? 10 to the power of... Now, if you look at your table here, 10 cubed is, is 1,000, right? So uh, 1,000 is the same as 10 cubed, isn't it? So we have 6 times 10 cubed, and this is scientific notation for the number 6,000. We have not changed the value. 6 times 10 cubed is 6,000. It's just written a different way. So scientific, and, and uh, yeah, I'll give you another example before we kind of try to define scientific notation. So 345 actually is, would you believe, it's 3.45 multiplied by 100. Does that make sense? Okay, now what is 100 as a power of 10? Is it 10 to the power of 2? 10 squared is 100, right? So 3.45 times 10 squared is what we have, and that's the answer. So 345 is, you know, standard notation for that number. 3.45 multiplied by 10 squared is scientific notation for this number. Once again, this is the same value as this. It's just written a different way. Okay. The point with scientific notation is we put the decimal point after the first digit, then we write the rest of the digits, then we write multiplied by, with an x, 10 to the power of something. And we can change all sorts of numbers to scientific notation. Not just big numbers, but we can also change the uh, decimals as well. Okay, so scientific notation, if we want to try and define it in a in a in a way we we'll, might remember, it's the first digit, then a dot, uh, the first non-zero digit. We never have a zero here, by the way. Then the other digits, whatever they may be, there might be more of them. Then multiplied by ten to the power of something, some number. Okay. So that's how we write scientific notation. The first non-zero digit goes here, and then the rest of the digits go here, and then it's times 10 to the power of something. Now, if we just have 6,000, of course, we can just write 6 times 10 cubed. We don't have any other digits to use. And obviously, this might be 6.0 times 10 cubed, but it doesn't really matter. Either way is fine, just so long as you have 6 or 6.0. Either way will work. Okay, so... Page 2, if you have 35,430, um, you might see that we're talking about 10,000s here, right? So you might think, well, if I had 3 times 10,000, that would be 30,000, right? So if I had 3.543 times 10,000, 
that would give me 35,430, wouldn't it? Okay, so 10,000 is 10 to the power of what? Write it down. Ten to the power of. If you look at your table, you should see. And we should have. Well, I guess we didn't get to there. <clears throat> Ten to the power of four, isn't it? Because there are look, look one, two, three, four zeros. Ten to the power of four, actually. So three point five four three times ten to the power of four is scientific notation for this number. Once again, the decimal point is just past the first non-zero digit, the three and we write multiplication with next and it's times 10 to the power of something so this is scientific notation for this number now there was an easier way to do it wasn't there you might have seen we really just we started with the decimal point here we want to move the decimal point in just to the right of the three if I count the number of skips I go one two three four move four skips to the move the decimal point four places to the left see that one two three four and puts this number here four see ten to the power of four and this is always going to work out for you if I just move the decimal point over to the three see that put it here and then write that times ten to the power of and that's going to be ten to the power of four and we could have done them all like that like three hundred and forty five the decimal point was here we could have simply moved it one two places to the left and so that's one two places to the left and of course this number two corresponds with this number two here see that here's a two here's a two so we could just write it put the decimal point to the right of the three so it's 3.45 times 10 to the power of two and we didn't have to take this middle step we could have skipped that see that we didn't have to write that down but we should have done it in our notes anyway so we understand what we're doing because that's the biggest problem with math is when people don't understand it then they don't pass the math courses that's the problem so if I wanted to um, skip make make do my um, move in my decimal point method on this one okay if I want to write 25 million four hundred ten thousand in scientific notation I need to move the de this decimal point where here, then all the way up to, do I stop at the here? Or do I stop here? Or do I stop here? Or do I stop here? Where do I stop? So I go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven jumps. Seven skips to the left, right? I went seven skips to the left, didn't I? And I have to stop to the right of the number two. So it should be two point. That's my point up there, 2.541. And I don't need to write the write zeros here, do I? That's that's unneeded. Don't need to write the zeros. You're done. Do all the non-zero digits and you're done. 2.541 times 10 to the power of how many skips? I moved 7 to the left. So it's 2.541 times 10 to the power of 7. And that's scientific notation for this number. And once again, 10 to the power of 7, of course, is 10 million. And if I multiply, you know, 2 times 10 million would be 20 million. So it makes sense that this number times 10 million would give that, wouldn't it? Right? Okay, so if you had 0 0.03, and you want to write that in scientific notation, Scientific notation is when we have a non-zero digit, then the decimal point, then the rest of the non-zero digits, times 10 to the power of something, right? So I would need to think about this. 0 0.03 is 3 cent, right? It is 3 times 1 cent, isn't it? 3 times 0 0.01 would give you 0 0.03. Now, 0 0.01 is 10 to the power of what? 10 to what power gives you 0 0.01? Look at your table and try and figure it out. So that's going to be 3 times something. So look at your table and figure out what 0 0.01 is. So if we go to the table, okay, I'm seeing that I've got 10 to the power of negative oh, 0 0.01. Look at that. 
10 to the power of negative 2. Does that make sense? 10 to the power of negative 2 gives me 0 0.01. So 0 0.01 is the same as 10 to the power of negative 2, right? So I can put that in there. And now this number is in scientific notation. It's 3 times 10 to the power of negative 2. Okay? Does that make sense? So can you pre oh let's have a look at this one. I guess you can't press pause and do this, maybe not. But 0 0.0007 is 7 times 0 point what? 0 point zero 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 one, isn't it? Because 7 times this would be this, right? So can you write this as 10 to the power of something? You might need to use your table that you made earlier. Zero point zero 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 one. It's here, isn't it? Zero point zero 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 one, and that's ten to the power of negative four. Again, a negative exponent means we take a reciprocal. We go, we flip the number upside down. We go one over ten to the power of four, which gives us a small decimal. So these negative exponents do not give us negative numbers. They just give us small numbers when they're applied to tens. The negative exponents on ten give small numbers, right? So we're talking about a small number here, and so that's why we need a negative exponent on our 10. So it's 10 to the power of negative 4, right? So 7 times 10 to the power of negative 4 gives us this in scientific notation. Now if we were to use our decimal trick, how about this? Look at, you know, well we'll look at this one first I guess because we just did it. The decimal point start is here at the beginning. We want the decimal point to be where? Just to the right of the 7. That would be perfect. We would need to skip one, two, three, four places to the right. See that? One, two, three, four places to the right. Now if I go to the right, that means it's, I'm going to need a negative four. See that? In other words, I want to write this in scientific notation. This is a small number. Small numbers need negative exponents on the 10 because these are small numbers, right? So that's what we need to understand. Small numbers need negative exponents. Big numbers need positive, positive exponents. So going to the left, we do positive numbers. Going to the right, we do negative numbers. But you really need to understand, most of all, that if, if you're talking about a big number, you need positive exponents on the 10. If you're talking about a small decimal, you need negative exponents on the 10. That's what you need to understand most of all. Okay, so if we were to do this with the trick, we would take the decimal point, move it over one, two spaces to the right, and then write, you know, 3.0, or, you know, we could write 3.0 or 3, it doesn't matter, times 10 to the power of, we went one, two spaces, 10 to the power of negative 2. Okay. So, I guess we should just give you one more. If you had the to write this in scientific notation 0 0.04503 write that number in scientific notation the decimal point needs to be just past the 4 so I need to move the decimal point 1 2 spaces to the right so it would be 4.503 times 10 to the power of, now I want two spaces to the right, so that should be 10 to the power of negative 2, right? 10 to the power of negative 2. Okay, and that'll work out, because this is this number is, you know, 0 0.01, so if I go this times this small number, I get this small number, right? So what if you had to uh, write the number... Um, 35.41 in scientific notation. Can you do this one? You would uh, need to move this decimal point just in front of the 3. So you need to move it over here. And it would be 3.541 times 10 to the power of. And I move one space to the left. So that would be a positive one. Okay? And once again, you know, this 35.41 is like, it's a big number. It's more than 10. So that's why I need a positive exponent here. Because look, 
five, you know, times ten gives thirty-five. So this is the same number, it's just written a different way. Again, here, you know, 0 0.045, I mean, this was a small number, so we end up needing a negative exponent on the 10 to write it in scientific notation, right?